Is he feeling it? Or are these wings just flying by? Flying by, aren't they? You know, you come in, you see the same faces and everything. They never change. They never change. They never change. They never change. They never it's lovely to see you, really, isn't it? Yeah. Nice to see the girls here. Do you remember, ladies and gentlemen, last week they got chirped off in the house? They weren't on there, they were over there, you see. Couldn't cause any trouble over there, could you? Uh, well, it's great to see you. Sit back. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight you are in for a great, great show. And all you've got to do is enjoy it listen to them. That's what you've got to do for start off. Give them the best of all of them. Well, we always do it here anyway. Most of the time. But anyway, come on, let's get the show going. We can't miss about like this. Come on, boys. <laughs>
Why would you mind? I don't know. I just don't know what's wrong. Christmas is coming. Aye, and in two weeks' time we've got the pantomime. Oh, oh yes, we are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the pantomime. We haven't got a name for it yet. We haven't got a name for it. Oh, yes, we have. We haven't, have we? It's all cock and ball, haven't we? Oh, we can't have that, can we? Should be all cock and baubles. Shouldn't it? You know, ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you something now that shook me, shook me tonight? I heard from a lady, I'm not mentioning who it is. I just happened to say, where's Ray tonight, your partner? You know, you know Ray, don't you? You know Ray, sits with you, don't you? And she said, he's not very well. He's got something wrong with his ear. And he's got something wrong with this, and he's got something wrong with that. Now I could tell, lads, I could tell that she was getting at me to say that us fellas can't put up with this sort of stuff. Now listen, if we can go through life with man flu, oh yes, you might well scoff. If we can go through life with man flu, we can take any amount of pain, can't we, lads? Oh, yes, we can. That's it, we're getting ready for the bounce oh, away. Ten miles to go on the side of Dick. Anyway, well, like I said, that shoot me, dear ladies and gentlemen, it should shoot me. But I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have to take any malice about it at all. So what I've done, somebody give me some sweeties earlier on. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make you feel really guilty. And I'm going to give her one of my sweeties. June, I'm going to give you something else. Though. <laughs> Shall I give her a sweet, ladies and gentlemen? Look at the people. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we've got, a, we've got a, uh, quite a lot of nice, very, very nice people in at the back, ladies and gentlemen, from Rochdale. Oh, yes, yes. Come on, give them a wave. Take it easy, Rochdale's. Yes. Now, they do come from a very rough part of Rochdale, <laughs> as you can tell by looking at them. But this is what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, they have been in before, ladies and gentlemen, and they do know that we have strict reg re regulations in this club about fighting. <laughs> well, I've told them, ladies and gentlemen, they're not very strict regulations. All it is is, we usually start about half past nine, but they can start at quarter to ten if they want. <laughs> because they are, they have made themselves members for the evening. But it's nice to see them. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, these guys. It's great to see you. Really. One of them, a mate of mine, I found out tonight. A mate of mine's son, there again. We got it in the back. Like, look at him there. Billy Lupton, son. If anybody, if anybody remembers Billy from years ago, ladies and gentlemen, in the pubs and clubs of Oldham, he was absolutely fabulous. He really was. Now, sadly, not with us, but his son is. Looks like him at all. Billy Lupton, remember the name. Hey, hello. Have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This proves that us fellas can get along with anything, even though we're being called. Well, they've got a new name for you. Who? You, with your sweet. What? Willy Wonka. <laughs> look, at, look at Wonka. Yeah. Willy what? He's a definite Wonka. <laughs> you didn't say Wonka. <laughs> oh, Wonka. Oh, Wonka. Oh, well, I... There you go. Take a sweetie. Can you have one for your friend, you cheeky cat? <laughs> Shall I let your friend have one, ladies and gentlemen? Shall I give her a friend one? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you one as well. I love the bank. You are not holding it at all. Oh. Yes, I'm not finishing up where it is. Oh, have you? Oh, that's all right then, isn't it? <laughs> right, go on then. Oh, I, hang on, no, not that one. That's my favourite. No, that's my favourite. Oh, that's it, get the bloody biggest. Go on, pass them round. Pass them round. 
They're only friends in club. You can shut up, am I sweet? I'll give you one later. But uh, right, one or two little things that I get enjoy a, them because I might give you another one later. There's a man over there saying, can he have a golf stopper? A golf stopper? Yes, certainly can. Members night, tickets are now on sale, ladies and gentlemen, at the back of the room. Saturday the 14th of January, £5 a ticket, three top acts on, and you also get, ladies and gentlemen, includes potato pie supper, free bingo, and free raffle. Oh no, sorry, £50 a ticket. <laughs> a joke, I thought it was going to be £5 a ticket. But they are on sale now, ladies and gentlemen. Get them. That's Saturday, the 14th of January. Tomorrow. Eh? Oh, yes, yes. And that's true. We've also got, ladies and gentlemen, topless barmaids. Yes. Not the usual ones we have the bar, but we've got some volunteers down here. All they've got to do is get rid of the stop and flop ones and away we go. Yes. Yes, we'll be topless as well, yes, we'll. No, no, we can't be bottomless, so we'll shut the place. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, Jason and, and Ashton and Darren Shaw. Great show tomorrow. Always a great afternoon on the Sundays. And I believe last Tuesday night, the Clive Arms band was absolutely fabulous. Get yourself down on a Tuesday and don't forget tomorrow afternoon. But just for now, before we bring our first guest on, come on, you on all this song. Let's hear, let's hear some voices. Come on, let's put the rocks down off. Come on, ready? I didn't give you a squeaky, did I? Give you a pass on my shoe, ladies and gentlemen. you just like it when girls do that.
Just before Christmas, we really have. And if you see him in his other show, his other life, he does a Tom Jones tribute like you have never heard and seen before. But he'll probably tell you all about that. Tonight we've got him as himself, and he's absolutely fabulous. So come on, as I said, give him the best of all, ladies and gentlemen, please, and make him feel so welcome. The fabulous Mr. David Kim. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of uh, these sort of songs with him because the girls tend to they go a little bit overboard. Do you know what I mean? And I know, I know it's all right. It's, it's all right for you fellas sat there, but I feel very, very in danger sometimes, believe me. What do you mean, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa? Very intimidating. David will tell you, Nick Dave. What about these birds down here, Dave? Are they intimidating or what? Oh, <laughs> 
You've got to be careful with them, ladies and gentlemen. Be really, really careful. David Kidd, ladies and gentlemen, is now leaving the building. Have a great Christmas, Dave. All the best, guys. See you shortly. Hey, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Little Bobby's back in the room. Little Bobby, ladies and gentlemen, with his wife, Nancy. They've been off for ages. He's had a new knee done. Right? He's had a new knee done, and Nancy's had two new feet done. And on a sunny day, because he's had a metal plate fitted in, in his head, yeah. he, he can get HTV Wales. That's right. That's right. Because Nancy, his wife, ladies and gentlemen, has got these funny feet. Because, you what? She's not called Marion. She isn't. She told Bob that. She's called Nancy. I know her proper name. But she's got these feet, ladies and gentlemen, because what it is, she's got wooden legs, but proper feet. Very weird. It's a weird setup. I don't know. I'll have to get to the bottom of it, Nancy, somehow. I don't know. But, but it's nice to see you back here. Ladies give a round of applause to old Bob and your beautiful wife. Ronnie? Yes. Does that mean he can get his leg over now? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know. What's it like, Bob? Can you, uh... Bobby? Can you get the leg over? Can you get it over? <laughs> ah, well. What have you got to do it now, Nancy? Ah, well, there you go, then. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Come on, let's do it. We're going to finish off with Hill Gavin, as you can see. Maria has now wrapped all the money up, put it in her handbag, put it in the safe, and, uh, and that's it. So if you haven't got your tickets, tough. Who's like this here? Right, come on. Thank you. 
The pantomime. Oh, the pantomime. Ooh, oh, yes, it is. It's a Chad Vegas production. For myself, Ronnie Raven, for Mr. Alan Reed on keyboards, and Carl Williams on drums. Perfection, we call them, and so they are. Look after yourself, safe journey home, good night, God bless. Let's see you all again in the not too distant future. And it's nice to see certain people winning at bingo every week. Well, nearly every week. That's all I'm going to say. No guilty consciences, all I'm gonna say. But you're not on your own.
Thank God. Let's look after yourselves. Safe journey home to Rochdale. Let's see you all again. ta -da! Look after yourselves. Yeah.